At the beginning of the movie, a masked female assassin named Maria infiltrates and begins wiping out a small army of armed men, using her speed in the darkness to her advantage. She fights her way towards her target, but only sees a woman and her daughter there, scared. There is a gunshot, then darkness. In the present, Maria wakes up next to her husband Bert, gives him a kiss, and goes to check on her daughter, Min Min. Maria then prepares breakfast, but Bert is forced to miss breakfast as he has to prepare a meet and greet for governor candidate Villanueva. Maria, however, thinks he should be having breakfast instead and warns him to be wary of politicians as they are all the same. We then see Villanueva holding a press conference denying any links with the drug kingpin Ricardo and promises to bring Ricardo to justice once he becomes governor. Watching the press conference is Ricardo, who curses at the television that he put Villanueva in his position. He is then brought to see two suspected traitors that the men have captured. Ricardo gives a speech about loyalty before suddenly beating the man standing beside him to death, revealing him to be the true traitor. He then has his female guards kill the two captive men. Ricardo is still pissed about Villanueva's comments and wants to shut him up before he causes trouble. His man Caleb offers to take care of the mission, but Victor comes at him for messing up his last mission. Ricardo gives Caleb the go-ahead. Victor wonders why he allows Caleb to mess things up, but Ricardo reminds him that he calls the shots. Later, we see Maria picking up Min Min from school. She calls Bert and the family looks forward to meeting at home. At dinner, Min Min and Bert praise Maria for her delicious cooking. Afterwards, the couple watches another press conference on Villanueva with Min Min sleeping in their lap. Bert thinks that he is a good guy despite the accusations. Maria responds to him sarcastically and mocks Bert for his unwavering belief in Villanueva, which irritates Bert, until Maria reassures him that she is just messing with him. At a rally for Villanueva, Caleb's men are there staking out the security for their attack. Maria, Bert, and Min Min are also there, and she gets caught in one of the men's videos. As the rally goes on, Caleb is sitting in a car outside. He is going over the video footage collected when he recognizes Maria and decides to gather his men to search for her, but Maria has already left. At home, Bert is again watching a press conference on Villanueva when Maria turns off the television. The two get into an argument about it, but Maria thinks he is giving the governor more attention than his own family. At the docks, Victor is having his men torture a man for information. He calls Caleb to check up on his progress and offers to send some men to help him, but Caleb snubs him and hangs up. Their victim passes out before he can give any information, but Victor wakes him back up to continue his torture. Ricardo then comes to check if the man has talked, but Victor shoots the man in the head. Caleb is having a sparring match with his trainer. During the spar, he has a flashback where his girlfriend Lily tells him she doesn't want to continue a life of killing. Seeing her resolution, Caleb promises to talk to Ricardo after their last mission. Back in the present, Caleb beats his trainer to a pulp, breaking his arm in the process. He then orders his men to clean up the mess. Maria and the family are having breakfast when Bert decides to lessen his time at the rallies and spend more time with his family. Maria appreciates his decision and dedication and promises to cook him something nice for dinner. Caleb gathers his men. He orders his second, Miru, to take five men and tail the governor. Meanwhile, he plans to take care of an urgent matter with the remainder of the men. He then sends his men a picture of Maria and Min Min, ordering them to find them and bring them to him. Caleb's men then kidnap one of Bert's friends named Leo and begin torturing him for information. Leo begs Caleb to have mercy as he did nothing wrong, but Caleb brutally rips out one of his fingernails, then stabs him in the leg, leaving the battered man screaming in pain. Maria is walking through the marketplace when she notices some suspicious men following her. She steps up her pace until she breaks into a full sprint with the men hot on her tail. They eventually corner her, but they are trapped with her as she reveals some deadly skills and begins taking out the men taking some heavy hits in the process. She takes out the last man, then escapes. Caleb is mad hearing about their failure to capture her and decides to lead the men himself in their next attempt. Maria rushes home frantically, telling Bert and Min Min to pack their things. Bert demands an explanation, and Min Min begins to cry, but Maria rushes with them quickly. There is a ring at the door, and Bert goes to open it, only to see Leo get shot in the head. Caleb and his men rush inside. Maria disarms one man, but Caleb grabs hold of Bert, calling Maria Lily. To save Bert, Maria drops her gun, but when Min Min runs to Bert, Caleb shoots her dead. Both Maria and Bert scream in pain and anger. There is a flashback to the night Maria encountered the mother and daughter. She was unable to kill them, but when Caleb ordered his man to do the deed, she shot both the man and Caleb and escaped with the woman. In the present, Maria and Bert both try fighting back against the men. Maria is fast, taking out multiple men, 
while Bert barely holds out against Caleb. In the chaos, Bert ends up taking a bullet for Maria, but she does not realize as she is soon attacked by Caleb. The two fight brutally, but Maria manages to shoot Caleb in the stomach, dropping him. His men come to save him and escape, and Maria takes out the last man. It turns out Caleb was wearing a vest, and he calls Ricardo and breaks the news to him that Lily is still alive. At the home, Maria holds Min Min's body and cries her eyes out as her entire family has been wiped out. Maria then says goodbye to her family and sets out that night. She recalls the last conversation she had with Caleb about wanting to quit, then the horrific loss of her family at Caleb's hands. Maria travels by bus to another city and enters a cafe, which is a cover for a crime syndicate. She goes to meet with her old mentor, Sir Greg, who is shocked to see her. He refuses to help her out, knowing that Maria only brings trouble with her. Sir Greg knows the type of people Maria was involved with and fears that in his old age, he would just be easy pickings. Maria, however, reminds him that he was once a part of that same organization. Meanwhile, at Maria's home, which has become a crime scene, a detective secretly working for Ricardo contacts him about men on the scene leading back to him, but Ricardo orders him to do whatever he has to do to take care of it. Sir Greg decides to help Maria with the wound she received during the attack. She tells Sir Greg about her plan to kill Caleb. Sir Greg reminds her that nothing good will come from seeking revenge, but when he learns that Caleb wiped out her family, he understands and offers her a place to stay for a while. A few nights later, Ricardo and Victor sit to talk. Ricardo is furious that he now has both Villanueva and Lily to deal with. Victor suggests that Ricardo take a trip, as he plans to handle all of this for him. Caleb shows Miru a picture of Maria and orders her to handle it, giving up her location at Old Man Greg's but reminding her not to touch Greg as they have an agreement. Miru turns up to Old Man Greg's establishment, and he reminds her of the agreement. He orders a large man to throw Miru out, but Miru attacks the man. The two fight, but Miru is more skilled and easily beats him down in no time. Maria is not there, as she is currently infiltrating one of Ricardo's drug facilities, taking out a guard along the way. She then bursts into a room and takes out two armed men before she is confronted by a team of goons. Not losing a step, Maria brawls her way through the men, killing all of them before setting the entire facility on fire. Maria returns home to wash up and is flooded with thoughts of the happy family she once had. That night, Greg tells her about Miru's visit. He sees her injuries and scolds her for slacking off in her training. Greg calls her Lily, but Maria tells him that Lily is dead. She then sits, lost in thought, the night still replaying in her mind, bringing her to tears. She now doubts that there is anything good in life for her since it was all taken away. It is revealed that Sir Greg was the one tasked with ending Maria after her betrayal but could not bring himself to kill her. He instead helped to fake her death, allowing her to go into hiding. Victor brings news of the destroyed factory to Caleb. He reveals that he is taking over operations since Caleb is too caught up on Maria. Caleb gets furious hearing this and pulls his gun on Victor, and there is a standoff, but Victor calls his bluff, calling Caleb a coward. Once they leave, Caleb orders Miru not to fail him again. Maria is sitting in the restaurant, watching footage of the burning factory, and Sir Greg walks in and says, you're famous. He tells Maria to follow him and leads her to a secret stash of weapons and other accessories, telling her that she can take anything because no one is going to dare to come after him because of all the assassins he trained. Maria picks up a knife and tells him she's also going to need a dress. She enters a nightclub wearing her dress and eventually locks eyes with Miru, who is a distance off. Maria enters the restroom, and soon Miru also enters, leaving two guards to block the entrance. Inside, the former and current girlfriend argue over who is the upgrade. Maria demands Caleb's whereabouts, but Miru tells her to worry about herself. The two then begin to fight, almost equal in strength and speed. They slash at each other, neither really gaining the upper hand. The fight leads into a bathroom stall until it is torn down. The fight ends with Maria bashing Miru's head into the corner of the vanity, then digging her heel into her skull, killing her. The men guarding the door rush in to see Miru dead, but Maria swiftly kills them both. She exits the bathroom, where she encounters a few more men but easily dispatches them. She heads upstairs and sits before the club manager. She demands to know where Caleb is, and the manager hands her a cell phone where she can contact him. Before leaving, Maria forces the manager to swallow a handful of his drugs before dumping his cash inside the club. Ricardo orders Victor to take care of Villanueva and leave Maria to Caleb. Victor starts to protest, but Ricardo slams his hand on the table, reminding him that he will never be head of the family and to do what he is told. Maria returns to Greg, who reminds her that it is not too late for her to walk away and offers her cash, but the conversation is interrupted when Maria gets a call from Caleb, 
telling her to meet at the docks. Caleb tells Victor about the meeting at the docks so he can bring men. However, Victor orders his second, Wednesday, to ready the man and to leave no survivors, not even Caleb, as he is the main source of the family's problems. That night, Caleb and his men are stationed at the docks. Meanwhile, Maria takes out a lone guard and moves closer towards her target, gun ready. She takes out two other men, which then alerts Caleb and his men. Maria soon comes under heavy gunfire, but she returns fire, taking out the men as she gets an opening. She continues to make her way towards Caleb, dropping Caleb's men easily. Caleb then orders Wednesday and her men to attack Maria, but once they leave the room, they turn their guns on Caleb's remaining men. Victor and his small army then pull up, but they come under attack from Greg, who has taken up a sniper position. Victor takes cover and calls Greg, suspecting he is the sniper and accusing him of breaking their deal, but Greg claims he is just evening the playing field and hasn't laid a finger on either Victor or Caleb. Greg reveals that he knows Victor is the traitor Ricardo has been hunting for all this time. Seeing no way out, Victor hurriedly leaves the scene. Maria continues her onslaught on Wednesday and the men, including the still alive Caleb. Wednesday ambushes Maria but is easily killed. She then takes out the last of the men and finally Caleb's last bodyguard as they try to escape. Out of bullets, Maria pulls her knife and manages to tackle Caleb. She removes her vest and faces her former lover, ready to end his life. The two begin to trade some even blows before going in. They stab each other, which eventually leads to a brawl in the mud. Caleb tells Maria that she cannot escape who she really is, but Maria gathers her strength, beating down Caleb with heavy punches before cutting his throat with her blade and standing over his body. Later, we see Ricardo and Victor standing over Caleb's body. Ricardo tells Victor he needs to avenge his brother, but Victor does not reply. In the end, Greg hands Maria a bag full of cash, and the two sit and share a drink together in silence.